Okay, so next we have is Augustus. His uh, topic is Clonia. Clonio, sorry. Today evening, 6 o'clock, till today. Like they haven't sleep for like a minute or so. They are working and working and making this conference a reality. So a big uh, hand of applause for our network team. Thank you. So hi, I'm Augustus from Clonio. Uh, in fact, I came here with my co-founder, but I'm not able to find him. <laughs> And this, I'm not getting signal on myself, so if you can hear me. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> so, yeah, so anyway. Uh, and also, yeah, a very interesting series of events happened. Uh, first thing is, I was not able to connect to the internet. <laughs> and second thing is, uh, thanks to an update with Windows 10 yesterday, it, it broke my default photo viewer. And, <laughs> and third thing is, just two hours ago, our uh, cloud-based, we use Mongo in one of our, uh, our production deployments, and they just, without informing us, upgraded to Mongo 3 point something, and our site is now down. <laughs> I Sorry, our API is down. <laughs> so <laughs> I am left with a couple of screenshots and VLC media player. And yeah, I hope I <laughs> can <laughs> make you guys understand. Anyway, so yeah, let's start. So the first thing, okay, what is Clonio? In one line, Clonio is a database version control tool. So how many of you use a source code version control tool? Like Git or as Mercurial, everybody uses it. It's, it's like a necessity these days. Okay, so, if, but if I ask you the question, what do you do with your database? What about your database? Do you version it? How do you, how do you uh, say you, see you and your, your co-founder are working on something and you want to add a new table or new collection? How do you collaborate these changes? What do you do? How do you, do you version your schema? What, and then finally when you put it up on the cloud, how do you handle your backups? Do you, is there a workflow that you follow or is it a big mess? Like what I have experienced in all my years of working in, in computer science and also meeting with other startups. So, we created Clonio to solve this problem. So yeah, as I said, I have a couple of screenshots. This is our 0.3 GUI. We are in 0.5 currently. <laughs> so, oh, sh VLC not working. <laughs> oh. Ah, yeah. So yeah, VLC had click N. Cool. So, <laughs> this is the dashboard. So basically, this is a GUI. There's a CLI as well. It supports Mongo, MySQL, and Postgres at the moment. We we're adding more databases as we have every day. And yeah, so, oh shit, it plays automatically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so this is a very simple dashboard. And uh, yeah, instead of talking about that, I wanted to talk to you guys probably in an interactive way. What do you guys do for your databases? If anybody could tell me, like, if you have like an amazing way to handle your things without Clonio. Or, yeah, what, what do you do? Anybody from a startup or any founder? Flyway. Yeah, tell me. Flyway. Flyway, okay. And any, somebody said ORM, right? Who was that? Yeah, so what do you do? Your ORM, so you version your, you, your ORM is basically code, right? So you version it to Git, is it? Okay. Migrations, yeah, that's the, currently the biggest thing. Yeah, so, just a quick show of hands. How many of you would want such a tool in the marketplace? When it works, yes. Yeah, when it works. Yeah, I will be showing you that. So, <laughs> yeah, very good question. The, sorry, very good statement. The thing is, when, uh, actually this is one and a half year ago. I started this one and a half year ago. And when I started, I was all like, yo, I'm pumped up and all. I'm going to do some crazy stuff. And then when I started, I realized why nobody had created this till now. <laughs> it's insanely complex and hard. And when you talk of something like Git, if, you, if it works for source code, basically it's a text file. It works for any language, right? End of the day, it's a text file. But when you build, it, build, when you build something for databases, each database, the, the source code is different. I mean, the way it is is different. Each version of the database can have changes that can break an application like this. So it has been a really complex task to build these things. And yeah, so as you said, does it work? So <laughs> let me show you. So this is how you add a database. And yeah, 
my order. Where's yes. So this is the main screen. So as you can see, this is for Mongo, by the way. It's showing you that there are two collections added here, along with the keys in each collection, and then a simple commit like this. Once it's committed, the UI shows you that there are no database changes anymore. And then when you go back and make a change and come back to this, you will see that anything else that you've added has shown up here. So basically, these are called commits just like Git, and we modeled it to you know, reflect exactly like Git so that if you know how to use Git, you can immediately start using something like this. Explain again. Yeah, so this is what Clonia, this is, what Clonia is. And if you have any questions or anything else, just let me know. And yeah, we plan to have a talk or something tomorrow probably in, in there's an open talk space. So yeah, we could explore this together. Thank you. Five minutes for lightning talk. So anyone interested, just come up, man. What's the big deal in that? Anyone? So, so I say that no one has nothing to talk or no one is, everyone is sleepy or most of you didn't get ice creams and gulab jamuns. Is that, I mean, seriously, yeah? I didn't, I didn't hear you. You got it right? No, seriously, I didn't, I myself did not get ice cream, man. <laughs> my, see, my leads calling me, I was like having this puri and bhaji, I, I don't know, I, I don't know what the exact name is. I was having this and I just got a call. Your, your, your stage is ready, just come. I have to leave everything and you know, I rushed away. So I'm still going to have ice cream. So if anyone wants to accompany, you can join me. I mean, it's open, open offer. Okay, you want to join? Okay, okay, good. Okay, so uh, we are, we, I think we should call the session as a close now. Uh, if you guys want to, you ha uh, lightning talk tomorrow maybe, so you r can register right now also. Uh, time is 2 p.m. again, same place, that is Audi 1. So see you guys tomorrow at 2 for the lightning talk 2. Thank you, thank you guys.